So, so what have we got here then? Boobies. <laughs> Boobies? <laughs> Boobies in the paper. <laughs> okay, that's... Um, yeah. No arms though. Apparently it's uh, Vanista. Okay. Yeah, but this still with the bigger boobies and the bigger bum. <laughs> well, good morning, YouTube. Um, me on my own this morning. It was a bit of a late one last night and a, a strange turn of events, to be honest. Um, we was in the disco, the late night disco, and met a guy called Lewis, who's the DJ. Um, big idea for DJ, great mixer, and uh, <laughs> full of life, bless him. Um, but he <laughs> he kind of wanted a little bit of experience, and I suppose that's what I've got after 30 odd years of DJing. Um, basically, he offered me on the decks, and we did a cheesy disco night, which was brilliant. So, one may continue. It was a, sorry, a strange turn of events, but good fun. Really enjoyed it. Um, so today, he joined me in Potomio, uh, which is in Portugal. Um, we was at sea yesterday, so we travelled to the furthest point of the cruise, which is here. Um, so we're going to Portugal, Portugal tomorrow, and back and ending up in Palma again. So obviously a day-to-day -day vlog, vlog, whichever way you want to put it. I get in trouble for saying vlog. Um, of what we're doing on the holiday. Again, we're on the uh, Discovery 2, which uh, is a lovely ship. and uh, enjoy coming back on it. Um, a few changes, a few strange things. We used to love the Miami Vice cocktail, which I think we mentioned in, uh, well, when we was on the plane or getting off the plane. Um, they don't do it anymore, but the Mai Tais are quite good, so like those. Anyway, um, just going to have a quick look. It is a, a tender today, um, so we're not actually in a port. We're uh, anchored there at sea at the moment. So let's, uh, let's have a look around. Uh, this picks up through the wind noise, there's a little bit of wind, I'm on the, the deck 10 now. Um, for those who have never cruised before, uh, what tendering means is they drop a couple of lifeboats into the sea. Don't panic, you're not having to abandon ship or anything like that. Um, but the boats take you from an anchor position outside the bay, um, and usually because the boats, uh, the keel's far too low and will obviously beat you if it tries to get into the port. Looking at this area, um, I don't see much of a port for big ships, so that kind of makes sense why we're actually anchored out at sea. But basically what happens is, you get one of the lifeboats, which hopefully you can see down there. And there's one, if you can see outside the sunshine, there's another one out there waiting. So basically they hustle you onto a life raft, a uh, tender as they call it, and take you into the port, or in this case, looking at it, um, the seaside, <laughs> I guess. But uh, yeah, there you go. It's a little bit quieter this morning. So basically, we'll end this part here and get the wife up, get her ready, and we're going to have a walk around the town itself. Join us later.
our land again. We are, <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was a fun journey. That was all right. The tenders can be fun. That was relatively pleasant. Yeah, that's all right. So now we're, uh, we're here. No, that's, that's just, no. <laughs> He's not British, obviously. No. <laughs> right, so, 20 minutes in the tent. Because it symbolises something. Busy women, of course.
a charity shop. In Portugal? Yeah. Let's yeah, not go in. But you can't right? get to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's open. Oh, we've got around. Oh, we seem to have found um, oh, some. We seem to have found a few. We seem to have found to get knocked over, so come here. <laughs> <laughs> so we found some handbag shops. Jewelry. Which Devils likes. And um, yeah, the start of what may be a shopping centre. Very bizarre place. You'll never get that in your suitcase. No. <laughs>
said here. Otomino. What do you think? <laughs> There's some nice shops. Um, it's not the prettiest of places. It's not the most cosmopolitan, shall we say? No. It's not. So it's. Um, <laughs> but the drivers are polite and they let you through. <laughs> But, yeah, um, that wouldn't happen in Italy. No. But, yeah, it's... I don't know. It's clean. It's OK. But it's, yeah, it's not our favourite place, no. let's say. It's just OK. It would seem better. It seems a little bit... Um, I wouldn't say underdeveloped, but it just seems a little bit tatty. Yeah. I think for want of a better word. Yeah. But there you go. So we're heading back to the ship now. Yeah. Back to the port. And um, ice cream time. Ice cream time on the ship. Absolutely. Right. Say goodbye then. Goodbye then. Goodbye then. Mm -hmm. so, so what have we got here then? Boobies. Boobies? <laughs> Boobies and <pepper. laughs> Okay, that's... Um, yeah. No arms though. Apparently it's uh, banista. There you go. Yeah. Banista with the bigger boobies. And the bigger bum. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, I won't slap it. <laughs> there's, um, there's the um, yep. tender. And there's a very interesting boat. Looks like a um, Chinese boat. Korean type thing, yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah a little mini galleon. So there's some interesting craft around here. There are. We've got to walk over there. Yes. To catch our tender and get back to the boat. To get what? Ice cream. <laughs> you haven't guessed I'm a little addicted to ice cream. Yeah. And there's a um, a slab. A slab of marble. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah. Sculpture comes in all shapes and sizes. And that one. Certainly did. Particularly crap. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and the uh, stone with a hole in it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and a, um, a collection of bits of stone. It's marble again though, looks like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting not to get the culture around here. <laughs> no. um, well that looks as if it started life as a, if it was going to be a cannon. Yeah, um, okay, moving on. <laughs> Have you caught the sun, do you think? Have I caught the sun? Probably. There it is. <laughs> do you want to go in the museum? No. Oh, okay. There's the museum. You know I don't do old. <laughs> you don't do old? I don't and yet, do old. And yet you go around charity shops? Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, so how's that work I then? don't know. <laughs> you don't do second hand? You don't do I old? I don't do second hand. Oh, okay. I don't do antique. Because to me, antique is just another word for second hand or old. But then you go to charity shops. Yeah. You've made no sense whatsoever. I've picked up some um, designer stuff from the charity shops. That's okay then. Makes it all worthwhile. Yeah. Oh. Conveyor belt of baskets. Yeah. I assume that's some. Um, the sardines. Oh, yeah, offloading the boats. Yeah. Interesting. The marina's not quite like Monaco, to say the least. No, it's not, is it? <laughs> no, not at all. No, that's, that's a bit of a poverty spec Monaco, that one is. <laughs> <laughs>